Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome to the NEET mock test botany live paper discussion. Yes. So without wasting too much of time, let's move on with today's session. This is a link for our telegram channel t.me slash neat underscore bio point where daily session updates, regular discussion, polls and quizzes takes place. Are you ready for the session? So let's get started with the section A of the botany part. So let's move on with the question number one, not one on the screen. Yes, everyone. Root hairs develop from, you know that the root hairs, that is the root has major five parts and you know that from the topmost portion is the root hair arising. So you know the correct answer for this question is option number A, region of maturation is the answer. So region of maturation from this region, some of the epidermal cells will arise to form root hairs. That was a question. Moving on to question number 102. A lateral branch with short internodes and a, each node bearing a rosette of leaf and a tuft of root is seen in plants like you know that the plants with short internodes and bearing rosette of leaf will be seen in aquatic plants. So indirectly, you are asked to find out which of the following are aquatic plants. You know that Pistia is an aquatic plant, Icornia is an aquatic plant, so that is the correct answer. So here you will see the formation of offsets have been described in sentences. So that have been in the textbook, a lateral branch with a short internodes and each node bearing a rosette of leaf and a tuft of root is found in aquatic plants like Pistia and Icornia. So this was what the question was demanding for. So the correct answer for question number 102 is option A. Question number 103, read the following statement and find out the incorrect statement. Let's read one by one, okay? Yes, leaves are converted into spines for defense as yes, in cactus, that's correct. And into tendrils for climbing as in peace. So statement A is correct. In Australian acacia, the leaf are small and short leaves. The lamina in these plants expand and become green and synthesis so food. So let's check it out. In some plants like Australian acacia, the leaves are small and short leaf. The petiole in these plants expand and become green and synthesized food. Here it is given lamina. Lamina and petiole are two different portions. So statement number B is wrong, which is the correct answer for this question. Rest everything is there. The fleshy leaves of onion and garlic store food. Leaves of certain insectivorous plants such as picture plant and Venus flytrap are modified leaves. Tendrils for climbing as in P. Spines as for defense in cacti. Okay, spines in cacti. Then this statement was also given. The fleshy leaves of onion and garlic store food. Then leaves of certain insectivorous plants such as a picture plant and the Venus flytrap will are modified leaves. Okay. Clear? Next question. Question number 104. In leaf, there is usually a middle prominent vein, which is known as, suppose this is to be the leaf. You will see that in the center, you will see a middle prominent vein. So this middle prominent vein, you will call them as what? It is called them as the midrib. So which is the correct answer? Option C will be the correct answer for this question. Yes, there is a usual, usually there is a middle prominent vein, which is known as the midrib. Next question. When a shoot tip transforms into a flower, it is always, you know that, suppose this is a shoot tip. When the shoot tip modifies into a flower, then how many flowers will be formed? A single flower will be formed. That is, it will be a solitary flower. It is there in your NCI to the single line. When a shoot tip transforms into a flower, it is always solitary. It is always solitary. Okay, direct NCRT question or direct NCRT Line. So the correct answer for question number 105 will be option A, which is solitary. Question number 106, this is a diagram from the NCRT. So this is a diagram which is given in the NCRT. I have included the diagram. I'll show you. Based on the position of the floral walls with respect to the ovary on the thalamus, identify in which group of plants or flowers does the following gynecium. You know that this is the superior. What is shown in the diagram is about the superior ovary or superior gynecium. So for in which all plants you will find the superior ovary? Superior ovary, the condition is called hypogynous where gynecium occupies the highest position. Look, whereas all other floral worlds are originating below that. So it is the ovary is said to be superior and it is seen in mustard, china rose and brinjal. Mustard, china rose and brinjal. Look, mustard, china rose and brinjal 
Option A will be the correct answer for question number 106. Question number 107. Match the following columns 1 and 2 and choose the correct one. Sepals free. If the sepals are free, you will call them as the polysepalous condition. If the petals are united, if the petals are united, you will call them as gamopetalous condition. If the petals are free, you will call them as what? Polypetalous. And if the sepals are united, then you will call them as a gamosepalous. So the correct answer is option D. So gamosepalous, sepals united. Polysepalous, sepals free. Gamopetalous, petals united. And polypetalous, petals free. In CRT line, so the correct answer for question number 107 is option D. Question number 108, this is an also a diagram from your NCRT itself. So let's find out the labelings first of all. Look, the outermost portion is the epicard, then you have the mesocard, then you have the internal portion as a seed, and finally you have the endocard. So as per this labelling, you will see that this A is the epicard. Right? D is the endocard. C is the seed and B is the mesocarp. So the correct answer is option number C. Question number 109. This was a very easy one. Monocarpular. I told you if the gynation number is 1, then the first family that we have studied, Fabaceae. If it is 2, then the second family we have studied, Solanaceae. If the gynation is 3, Tricarpillary, which is the Liliaceae family. So A1, B2, C3, option A will be the correct answer. I have included the NCRT lines. Look. In Fabaceae family, you will find that the gynesium ovary is superior with monocarpillary ovary. Gynesium in case of Solanaceae family, you will see bicarpillary ovary. In case of Liliaceae family, you will find the gynesium is tricarpillary. Clear? Question number 10 on your screen. Very easy question from biological classification. Organisms called methanogens are most abundant in. Methanogens are found in the marshy areas. They are present in the gut of several ruminant animals such as cow and buffalo and they are also responsible for the production of methane from the dung of animals. So which is the answer? Which is the cattle yard. That is what the cattle is eating, right? So the answer for question number 10, that is 110, will be option D, cattle yard. From this area also you have received another question. Archaebacteria differs from other bacteria having a different cell wall structure. That was another question we will come across. Which of the following is wrong about viruses? All are parasites, correct? Antibiotic have no effect on them. Yes, you have to, each virus have to give a uh, specific antibody. All of them have a helical symmetry, no, right? Some of them have, have a polyhedral geometry as well. It's mentioned in the NCRT, right? So these capsomias are arranged in either helical or polyhedral geometric form. So the correct answer for this 111th question is option number C. Okay, 111, it is option C. Next question, which of the following is correctly assigned? Let's read one by one and determine. Paramecium and plasmodium belongs to the same kingdom as that of penicillin. Penicillin belongs to fungus. Paramecium and plasmodium protozoa are wrong. Lichen is a composite organism found by the symbiotic association of an algae and protozoa of a no algae and fungus. Yeast used in making bread and beer is a fungus, correct. No stoke and anabena are examples of Monera, right? So the correct answer is option number C. It is there in the NCRT. Some unicellular fungus like yeast are used to make bread and beer. And it is belonging to what? Saccharomyces, which is ascomycetes, that is a fungus. Clear? Yes. Moving on to the question number 113. Prokaryotes used in making curd and antibiotics are? Yes. Heterotrophic bacteria, heterotrophic bacteria are helpful in making curd from milk and production of antibodies. Antibiotics, so which is the correct answer? 113, the correct answer is option D, heterotrophic bacteria. Next is question number 114 in the five kingdom system of classification. Chlamydomonas and chlorella have been included in the kingdom. Yes, even though in your plant kingdom chapter you study over there, but as per the new thing, it is coming under kingdom protest and it is given there in the NCRT as well. Okay, kingdom protest has brought together Chlamydomonas and Chlorella, which was earlier placed in algae within the plants, since both are having cell wall. As per the new NCRT, they have been updating. Okay, as years pass by, you will get it corrected and you will study about the features of Chlorella and Chlamydomonas in the chapter of under the kingdom protesta itself. Okay. 
clear everyone so the correct answer for question number 114 is option number b which is the protista next question 115 that what i have told earlier archaebacteria differs from u bacteria what's the speciality of these archaebacteria they can survive okay they can survive in extreme condition they can survive in extremities or they can survive in extreme condition due to the change in their what due to their cell membrane or their cell wall structure okay cell membrane or their cell wall structure cell wall structure or cell membrane structure you can tell clear yes question number 116 Which of the following is true for a fungus? Fungus are heterotrophs, correct? They lack a nuclear membrane. No, they have a nuclear membrane because they are coming under the class of eukaryotes, right? So that is the correct answer for this question. Yes, one hundred and sixteen. Answer is sorry. What they have asked, which is true, right? So option A is the correct answer, right? A is true. They are heterotrophs. That is true. So option A will be the correct. They are not phagotrophs. They Lack a rigid cell wall. No, they have a rigid cell wall made up of chitin. Right? They are eukaryotes. Eukaryote present cell wall present with chitin. Nuclear membrane is present. They are heterotrophic in nature. Clear? And they are saprophytic or parasitic. They are not phagotrophic. Moving on to question number one hundred and seventeen. Choose the wrong statement again. They have asked you statement type question. I have included maximum statement type question in order to get you familiarized with the type of question pattern. Choose the wrong statement. Neurospora is used in the study of biochemical genetics (NCERT) line. Morels and truffles are poisonous mushroom. No, they are edible delicacies. Right? They are edible. Yes. Looks over here. Neurospora is extensively used in biochemical and genetic work. Many members like. Morels and truffles, they are considered as edible edible fungus. Okay, and please just comment. This is a homework which I am giving you. Comment under which class of fungus do you find these morels and truffles? Under which class, whether it is phago, uh, that is phycomycetes or ascomycetes, basidia or deuteromycetes? You can comment. Okay, moving on to question number one hundred and eighteen. Select the wrong statement from the following. I've included since most of you have told me that you have studied the chapter Living World, Living World. I've included a lot of question. Okay, more than ten question have been included from the chapter Living World for you to enable you to get more than forty marks. W. M. Stanley showed that viruses could be crystallized. Correct. The term contagium vivum fluidium was coined by M. W. B. Jarnik. Yes, mosaic tobacco disease and AIDS in human beings caused by virus. Viroids were discovered by T. O. Dainer. Guys, in this area of viruses, please download the new NCERT, the latest. Okay, the latest edition of NCERT and read it. Okay, because there is a change in that term um, or portion of viruses. So the correct answer for this question, as I have already told you, the viroids were discovered by T. O. Dainer. T. O. Dainer in the year nineteen seventy one discovered the viruses. Okay, uh, sorry, viroids. Okay. Next one, question number one hundred and nineteen. Fungus albigo is a new member of albigo is a member of phycomycetes. Parasitic fungus on mustard albigo coming under phycomycetes. Direct NCERT. Next one, question from Living World. Let's match it together. Family. You know that family always ends with the term C E A E, right? So family is only C A A five or five one. Five A only one option is there, so the correct answer for question number one twenty is option A. I am not wasting time in telling each and everything. Okay, just get it matched. Tuberosum, it is a species Polymonials order. Solanum is the genus, Plantae is the kingdom. Yes, I have matched it for you. Here from here you can find Anacardaceae, Poaceae. You will find it over here, right? Yes. Question number one twenty one. Right now, only I have told you which of the following suffixes is used to denote the family. For family, it is always ending with a c e a e. Right. So, which is the answer? Option C will be the correct answer. Okay. So here C and B were interconverted, but the option was correct. Option C. Actually, this was to be coming. C and D have to be coming over here. But unfortunately, due to some technical works, uh, that is a typing mistake, it came over. As a single array, so option C, that is Fabaceae, Liliaceae, Solanaceae, will be the answer for the same. Next one.
okay the label of a herbarium sheet does not carry information on what all are the information you will have the date and place of collection english name local name botanical name family and collector's name there you won't have any detail about the height of the plant so option b will be correct for uh what question number 122 next question study the following four statement given below and identify the correct one definition of biological species was given by ernest mayer correct photo period does not affect the reproduction in plants it's wrong Binomial nomenclature was Carl Linnaeus. It's not R.H. Whitaker. In unicellular organism, reproduction is synonymous with growth. Correct. So A and B are correct. Option A will be the correct answer for the question. Look, photoperiod affect reproduction in both animals, seasonal breeder like animals and plants. In unicellular organism, reproduction is synonymous with growth. Clear? Question number 124. Taxonomical keys are, I'll tell you, analytical in nature. Taxonomical keys are anatomy, uh, not anatomy, it's analytical in nature, right? So that's correct. Taxonomical aid used for identification of both plants and animals. That's again correct. It's an NCRT line. Taxonomical aid used for the identification of plants and animals. Based on the contrasting character called couplets, it's already given over here. So the correct answer is all of the above 124, option D. Next question, 125. Now we have discussed this question, the taxonomical aid used for the identification of both plants and animal, which is that it is the key, right? It is the key, 125. Okay. Key along with museums also helps for the same. Okay, not only key, museums also help for the same. Here also C and B are interconvertible. So interchange together, right? So key and museum. So the correct answer for question number 125 is option D. Yes, here I have included only key. That's why I first mark the answer as key. Okay, it is both museums also help for the same. Correctly matched. Humans, primate is not the family, right? Musca. Musca is an order? No. Tiger, tigress, yes. Panthera, tigress, right? So it's a species. So correct answer, right? Panthera has another specific epithet called tigress. Clear everybody. So moving on to question number 127. Very easy question. Hope everybody will have made it correct. Exclusive characteristic of living things. Perspection of events happening in the environment and their memory. 127 answer is option C. Yes, it is over here. The most impervious and technically complicated feature of living organism is its ability to sense the surrounding. This was also given in the NCRT life cycle of ectocarpus and life cycle, life cycle of ectocarpus and life cycle of fucus. What was the life cycle of ectocarpus? It's haplodiplontic. Fucus, it is diplontic. So the correct answer is 128, option B. It is the NCRT cutting. Okay, NCRT extract, diplontic in fucus, haplodiplontic in ectocarpus, polysymphonia, and kelps. Next one. Question number 129. Easy when you read the first question itself, one first option itself, you'll get it correct, which is correct. Ovules are not enclosed by ovary walls in gymnosperm. That is why they are called naked seeded plants. Right? That's a statement. Ovules are not enclosed by ovary and remain exposed. Instead of making you get the answers, that's why I'm going a bit fast. Okay, because maybe some of your parents may be calling you for getting sleep. Uh, but we have to complete this. We have reached question number 129 right now. We have reached. This is not only really just uh, take, uh, please don't take it as a session where I'm going to explain each and everything. This is a session where I have to just show you that all the 200 questions which I asked yesterday, or which the question paper, yesterday's question paper demands for, was the NCRT exact line itself. So that you have to get understand with each and every words and lines of NCRT. Even spellings also have told in zoology about the renin and renin. You have to get it clearly understood and prepare for the next test. So this was just a sample for you guys to get yourself, get prepared. So many of you have spoken about the time conception while marking the OMR. This is what that happens. And uh, I'll make a separate video on how to manage the time for each question, each section and all. We'll make a separate video on that. So question number 129, the correct answer is option number A. Clear?
next one an example of a colonial algae this is a direct ncrt line right wall walks that have been given look i have highlighted the portion for your benefit while i provide you the pdf also you can check it out okay next question which one of the following is wrongly matched wrongly matched which is wrongly matched you know that polysymphonia uniflagellated it is a wrong statement so 131 answer is a right 131 answer is a clear next one question number 132 you have to choose the correct statement from the following which is the correct statement guys which is the correct statement Oh my God. Let's check it out, right? The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. Polytrichum is an example for most. So let's check it out. Common example of liverwort is polytrichum. No. Last, we given polysymphonia, which is a red algae, right? So here we are discussing about the polytrichum. That's why I showed the slide. Rhodophysia, polytrichum, sorry, polysymphonia belonging to the red algae. Where flagella are absent. So here, don't get confused. It is a polytrichum, which is an example of a most. Clear? Differentiated into two root stem and leaf? No, never. Sex organs are unicellular? No, they are dependent on water. That is the correct one. So the correct answer for question number 132 is option number A. Right, everybody? Next one. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Which one is a wrong statement? Which one is the wrong statement? You know that in angiosperms, the endosperm is triploid in nature. In case of angiosperms. Whereas in case of gymnosperm, it is haploid. That's the correct one. Brown algae, chlorophyllacy and fucosanthin. Correct. Archegonia present. So the correct answer is option number A. Mucor has biflagellated two spore. That is a wrong one. Clear? Next one. Which one of the following statement is wrong? Which is wrong, guys? Just tell me. I'll show you about the same. Floridian starch is seen in rhodophysia. What is given? Manitol is the stored food in rhodophysia. It's not in rhodophysia. Manitol and laminarin are the stored food in phyophysia or the brown algae. Clear? Moving on to the next part, that is the question number 135, the last question of section A. Which of the following pairs of algal genera belongs to the phyophysia? Phyophysia examples I will show you first. Ectocarpus, Dictyota, Laminaria, Sargasm and Fucus are the examples. So Laminaria, Sargasm, Fucus, Dictyota. Yes, we have learned that, right? Laminaria and Dictyota option C will be the correct answer for these questions. Moving on to the section B part of botany. Ready, everybody? Yes, let's move on with the next part. An aspect of flower which is shown in the floral formula but not in the floral diagram is, might not, maybe some of you might not be knowing it, but I have shown this question in the Slido quiz or the Menti quiz, I suppose, which we conducted in the last part of the chapter morphology. I have shown this when I taught you about the floral formula. I have taught this question itself. The same question I have taught over there with the same options. So the correct answer, don't get confused. It is a position of the ovary. You cannot show in the floral diagram. You cannot show whether it is hypogynous or perigynous or epigynous. Just show the floral symmetry and everything. Okay. Yes. Droop fruit develops from mango and coconut. Droop fruit, they develop from, from where they are developing. They're developing from the monocarpillary superior ovary. Since they are from the monocarpillary superior ovary, they are single seeded plants. So option A will be the correct. Monocarpillary superior ovary. Monocarpillary superior ovary and are one seeded. Option A will be the correct one. Moving on to question number 138. I know I am moving a bit fast, but in order to just show you about the same. Yes, if you have any confusion, any, any clarification, any question, can uh, take the screenshot, send it to me in personal telegram or in group, we'll ask, okay? I hope you might be having doubt in physics and chemistry part. Maybe we'll open the group for you to discuss. We'll set a time. You can ask your doubts in the group and discuss among your friends or uh, ask with your teachers. You can clarify your friend's doubt, anything. We'll open the group for you very soon, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, okay? 
Inflorescence is a collection of flowers, right? No need of critical thinking over here. The arrangement of flowers in the floral axis is termed as inflorescence. Moving on to question number 139. Psychomorphic. What is the example for psychomorphic? Cassia, Gulmohar, Pea Bean. What is imbricate situation? Which are the examples? I will show you. Psychomorphic, Pea, Gulmohar, Bean and Cassia. Imbricate, Cassia and Gulmohar. So which is the same or which is actually given in the option? It is Cassia only given. If it is Gulmohar was also given, then that could also be the answer. Clear? So this is the example. So a plant example for a flower that is psychomorphic in nature. But along with that, it shows imbricate estivation as well. Moving on to question number 140, which are called the botanical snake. This was a simple question, a logic question. Yes, maybe some of you have written that. I hope it is a pteridophytes. Okay, it's a pteridophyte, even though this particular thing is not mentioned in the NCRT. It is the, just remember, they are called botanical snakes. Clear? Pteridophytes are called botanical snakes. Question number 141, I have repeatedly shown you the diagram, the video of Jamaica, what is the type of reproduction seen? It is the asexual reproduction. I have shown you the NCRT as well, Jame are green multicellular structure. They are the asexual, but I have told you, right, asexual reproduction by the formation of specialized structures called Jame. Clear everybody? So that's it. Question number 142, Cycus is, it's also given in the NCRT, Cycus is a dioecious plant. Cycus is a dioecious plant. That is both male and female cones are born on the same, uh, sorry, male on the one and female on the other. That is male and female are located on two different organisms or two different trees. Therefore, they are called dioecious. Question number 143. Pyranoids are related with the storage of starch. It's not with the formation it's concerned with the storage of starch. Along with starch, you will find protein as well. Yes? Yes? So guys, I'll check this question once again and I'll tell you about the same. Okay, the answer key, I have printed it wrong. So I'll check it once again and I'll tell you. Okay, don't mark the answer for this question now. I'll check it once again and I will tell you about the same. Okay, question number 143. It contains starch besides, it contains proteins besides starch. It is actually the storage body. Okay, that's why I marked it as a protein. Okay. Yes, I'll check it once again and I'll post it. Okay. Floridian starch has a structure similar to me 2020 written students might be knowing about the same me 2020 question. Amylopectin and glycogen. Right, everybody? Amylopectin and glycogen, it's there in the NCRT as well. Yes, a food stored is a Floridian starch, which is a similar to amylopectin and glycogen. Prothallus of ferns produces. Prothallus produces gametes in ferns. Okay, prothallus in ferns produces gametes. Look, gametophytes called a prothallus. Clear? Yes. Question number 146, very easy question. Rhizoids or bryophytes are the very first sentence in your NCRT itself by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. So the correct answer is both A and B. They can either be unicellular or they can be multicellular. Clear? Yes. Moving on to the next question. That is question number 147. <clears throat> Kingdom and class. Kingdom and class in a plan hierarchy. We have studied that K, P, C. Kingdom, class, which is in bidding, it is the phylum. So can we go with the option phylum? Never. Because they are asked you separately, plan hierarchy, this division. NCRT line, we have learned and we have taught you as well. In case of plants, classes with a very few similar characters are assigned to division which is similar to phylum as in animals. <clears throat> Question number 148, I have done two recordings today and uh, prepared so many slides today in the morning and uh, done some of the lectures, some videos regarding the counseling and everything for NEE 2021 students. Okay. So my throat is not feeling well. That's why in between you'll 
hear some voices and sounds and everything. Okay, so listen carefully. The Alex the title Alexandra Gass's professor for zoology emeritus goes to. It's in the NCRT, it's Ernest Mayer before the chapter living wall. Just by the left side, you will see a person smiling over there, looking and smiling at you. So that's Ernest Mayer. And it is given over there. So the correct answer is option C. So guys, just understand how much hard work we are doing for each one of you, preparing the question, updating it, inserting that, this, then options, then answer keys, valuing the paper. So please do get value. Okay, please get value or hard work and prepare accordingly. Okay, yes. Doing one shot, doing NCRT highlight, doing easier bots for practicing MCQs, doing chapter wise tests, doing menti quizzes, doing slido quiz, everything. But we are not getting any kind of uh, response or a benefit from your side back. That you are not at all cooperating so well. Clear? Yes. So try to be active, everyone. Fungi are filamentous with the exception of eggs. So which is that filamentous, non-filamentous fungi, which is unicellular, you know that saccharomyces, which is the yeast. Clear? NCRT line only, guys, with the exception of yeast, which are unicellular. Fungi are filamentous. Last and final question. Red tide is caused by, red tide is not caused by red dino, that is red uh, algae or something. It is caused by red dino flagellates. Clear? So that was the final question. Red dino flagellates such as gone a So like, share and subscribe everybody. Bye-bye. See you with the next class tomorrow. Bye-bye.